Humble Down the Head presents Mr. Huh, chopping it up with the homies. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I catch her every time with that. Here we go. I like it right now. <laughs> man, so today, man, I got, I don't know what to call you. You my kid, my boy, my friend, my brother. You growed up a little bit on me. Yeah, I call you my oldest kid sometimes. And all in one. Yeah. All, all in one. <laughs> so, man, uh, you want to introduce yourself, man? Uh, yeah, um, really just call me Gotti. Gotti the Barber. You find me on IG, uh, uh, Gotti with an X, 615. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me. See what I be doing on there. Yeah, man. So, man, I don't even know what to talk about. I ain't seen you in a while, but. Kind of watch you grow up from a little one to now you you grown out there making grown man moves. Oh, yeah, we doing big things, you know. So, but uh, man, what what's uh what's been going on? Uh, basically trying to get everything in order. You know, I'm trying to. It's 2022. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like this this is my boss up here for real. I got I got I got a lot of stuff in store. I'm trying to. Uh, like we was talking about uh, off the camera, I'm trying to uh, get an 18 wheeler this year. Uh, hopefully, if everything how I want it, I might have a shop in the mix too. Yeah. So what what kind of made you become a barber? You just I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> it, it was like a split in the moment thing. I was just at the barber shop one day, and I was just I, honestly, my whole thing was I'm trying to find something to. Get me up out the streets, you feel me? So I can make legal money where I ain't even got to worry about nothing like that. And then my another thing that I used to me, I'm like, I ain't finna work for nobody. I want to be my own boss. You know what I'm saying? So I got to talking to my barber, and he just was like, "Oh, <laughs> I got to talking to my barber." I was like, "Uh, I was, I was like, uh, like 19 at the time." And he just like, "Man, little bro, I wish I would have started uh, when I was your age. This was the best decision I made in my life. I signed up for school that next week, and it just." When I once I actually got the clippers in my hand and got the, you know what I'm saying, I feel like that first cut, it, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't nothing, but I fell in love with it, you know what I'm saying, it was a learning experience. Yeah, man, I used to, it's funny, I used to, you know, I used to cut Tristan's hair, and I would tell, I'd tell people, man, I'm like, man, I'll fade you up real quick, man, I got the best two-day fade <laughs> around. They were like, what is a two-day fade? I said, man, about two days, you're going to be all right. <laughs> In about two days, when they grow out a little bit, you're going to be straight, bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, <he's> like... <laughs> I, I like I'm like, you got to put a hat on for like three days, then we straight, you can take your head off, Tristan. <laughs> I, I ain't going to lie, it's, it's some barbers, I know they doing two-day fades where it look good for two days, and after them two days, you're going to be like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, though, man, barber, man, it's you never realize how important certain trades are. Like, man, getting a fresh haircut make you feel better than than anything. Yeah, most definitely. I ain't gonna lie. Being a barber, it do be it be some it be it be some crazy stuff. Cause now, like now this year they done made they done made it a little law. All of us we got to take like a, a a counseling class. We got to, we got to take a counseling class because they said they said barbers be giving out wrong advice to uh, their clients and, be, and clients be going to go kill themselves. <laughs> so this, I don't know about that. So part, the, but so the state, y'all could give out some bad advice I mean, though. I, I, yeah, <laughs> people could give bad advice, but I'm like, dang, we gotta go take a whole class just to to counsel people. Nah, yeah, but I don't. know. I guess I I don't know. I mean. You know, when you look at barbershop, well, look at barbershop, look at beauty salons. Yeah. What's going on in there? Ain't no but a bunch of women talking. Most definitely. What's going on in the barbershop? A bunch of men bunch talking. Of talking. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of talking. Most definitely. And yeah, somebody going to tell you something that ain't good for you. Yeah. But I how I feel, <laughs> you feel me? If you weak-minded, you going to go listen to <laughs> Yeah. <me. laughs> some people are. That's why they're asking for the advice. Yeah, true. So, that is true. Oh. Uh, Man, but now I ain't gonna lie though. 
anybody young watching the podcast, if y'all young trying to find something to do, going to college, anything like that, I suggest y'all that'd be something to look into. You feel me? Because yeah. at the end of the day, like say you going to school, you ain't got to even worry about having to go to. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find no job. You could be at, on campus cutting everybody. I ain't gonna. I wish I was, was cutting hair and went to college. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a side hustle too. Yeah, most definitely. You most know? definitely. I ain't gonna lie. This I, when, when he told me the best decision he made, I feel like this has been the best decision I made. Cause I, besides like just the the experience and just being around people and all that, I ain't gonna lie. The money, lovely. I, the only barbers that ain't gonna make no good money is a lazy one. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, a lazy one or one that that ain't, I mean that ain't that good. But still, I like I know some good bar- I know some barbers that's horrible. That's horrible. But it's just like I ain't gonna lie, they they Maybe personality they. and they conversation they make yeah. people come back to them. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. don't even be caring about the haircut. They just like oh, this is my dog. I want to go. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Go chop it up with him. You know what I'm saying? He might make my day better. Type stuff. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. It was like even. I guess because of COVID, man, they had, you know, all the barbershops and everything shut down. Now you got to have an appointment. I was talking to my barber, man, shout out, shout out Brandon. But I was like, man, you got to make less money now that you got everybody got to make an appointment. And he was like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm booked up. You know, instead of waiting for a walk in, you know, I'm lined up and I'm out of there. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, I ain't got to come in till. 12 a day instead of I'm sitting there for four hours just waiting you know, sweeping <laughs> and, that, and that, that that's the I ain't gonna lie honestly that's the best way to be like when, when you finally get booked up and that feeling uh, alright I done check my books I'm gonna make Make six hundred today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 that 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 feel good when you know your money yeah. just set right there, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like I, the ground up, I ain't gonna lie. From the ground up, you feel me? The hustle that that be fun, you feel me? But I ain't gonna lie. Once you just know everything set in stone, oh, I'm gonna make this today. I'm gonna make that today. I'm gonna make yeah. this. Uh, yeah. yeah, you just don't start me. off making six hundred nah, a day. You gonna have most to most definitely. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna have to earn that most definitely. Mm-hmm. I want to say last year after I, got, I came back from the little situation I was going through. I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably starting at the barber shop. I'm probably making one one fifty to two hundred a day. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying? Just trying to build myself up. But yeah, um, but, but get back to that. So you know, you had to go do some, do a little, do a, have go on a little vacation. Yeah, I had to. I had to go do. But with your trade, you can come right back out. See and, and I, get legal money. Most most definitely. See. And I ain't gonna lie. Well, a lot of people can cut hair, but they can't get no job. And you can just go straight back to your homeboy want a haircut in the in the kitchen, and boom! Now and you know now now I'm okay. You know now I ain't gotta go do nothing dumb. Go back. Yeah, most I ain't definitely. Gotta go steal no old lady purse. Most definitely. <laughs> Look, and I ain't gonna lie. That, that that's that's really what I was doing when I first came when I first came back. Um. All I wanted, all I wanted, everybody like, oh, what you want? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do. Nah, I'm like, man, just give me, look, I want these clippers right here. I want these clippers right here. I want these clippers right here. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I got back, and it was just, you feel me? I'm like, who want a haircut? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. Who want a haircut? Y'all want a haircut? You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie. My work from when I, from then, February last year to now, just the, the, the progression, because I ain't going to lie. I wasn't really nothing. I was I was okay. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it looked decent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Compared to now where everybody like, oh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to God. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. It be like, like now it be feeling so good to me. Like I might be out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm the type of person. I'm bold. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I see somebody, I might see somebody, they might have a messed up haircut or they might not have their haircut. I'm bumping straight. Hey, what up, bro? How you doing? You feel me? You want to? Uh, you need a good barber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Put your name out there. Got to got to put my name out there. And, it, and it's been it's been a lot of times. Somebody be like, oh, what's your name? I'll be like, oh, got it. Man, bro, I done heard about you. I heard you over there going off. Ooh, yeah. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I love that. That they be making me feel so good. I'm like, ah, right, yeah. You feel me? Maybe somebody I ain't never seen before. Yeah. They be like, oh, yeah, I heard about you. I heard you going off over there. Oh, right, yeah, I'm finna come tap in. I'm like, ah, right, yeah, I love that. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm like, man, I I want to go up there and get cut up, but I'm like, man, I feel like I be cheat, I be cheating on my other barber. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Yeah, man, it be that, but I ain't when I when I started going to my new barber and then I'm friends with my old barber and I see him, I'm just like, I know the first thing he gonna say. <laughs> see, who cut your hair? You know, he been cut my hair for four years and see, you know, now you, but you can't get into him. Nah, you nah, know, see, everybody look, booked up. I'm like, man, I gotta find somebody. See, look, it. I ain't gonna cut. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't selfish. I ain't finna be beefing over no clients. Nah, I'm, I'm. Yeah. I'm I ain't gonna lie. Let me let me let me be booked up and people hit me up and you know what I'm saying. Say say, say 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 you cut hair. You know what I'm saying. And you and you you good. You know what I'm saying. I ain't just gonna put my clients in anybody's hand because I don't want them to look at me like, bro, why you do me like that? <laughs> nah, you feel me? You good, man? Man, bro, bro, you want one? Is look look. You might. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie. I charge forty fifty a head, thirty for kids. You know what I'm saying? Some barbers at the shop I work with. I mean, work at. You know what I'm saying? They still charge 25, yeah. 30, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, bro, you want a head? It's a, it's a $50 cut. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm put the extra money in your pocket, help yeah. you out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be stingy, be like, nah, bro, just come back, come back later on or come back this day. Nah, you, you trying to get chopped right now? Man, look, bro, I got you. Here, go on, go over there to bro. He got that you. going to get you in That's the convenience part of it. Yeah. You know, back in, you know, back a couple of years ago. You go sit up at the barber shop, you know, hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. and hang out. Now I'm old. I'm trying to get up in and yeah, out of there. In and out on me. I'm gonna give you two daps when I get there, one when I leave, and I'm out. <laughs> we ain't even gotta talk very much. I'm just cut me up. I'm out here. I got things to do. I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it all the way real. Nine times out of ten, you come to me, you ain't gonna want to go to your barber no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. You heard it here. Heard of here. <laughs> I'm coming. 2022, this is my year. Y'all finna see the come up. Yeah, man. So, uh, what else, man? I'm trying to think of something else I can ask you. Man, I don't know. How old are you now? I don't even know how old you are now. I I've just, known you so long. I just turned 25 in December. <sighs> Christmas Eve. Man, I've known you since I was like 13. <laughs> yeah, like 12. 13. <laughs> yeah. On me, yeah, man. I look like I look at him like he another father of me on my life. Yeah, I do anything in the world for them. You know, I, you know, I, I think you were still in high school, and you had got you had got shot or whatever. Mm -hmm. Man, I had felt so bad because, you know, you had moved and then I had moved, and I was like, man, it's my fault. You know, but then you know, I not really like. Oh, I wish I could have stopped it from happening. Not that mm -hmm. it's my fault, but. You know, just little things watching you grow, right. you know, like watch, watching where you come from, right? watching how you were growing up, you know, not throwing no shade on nobody because nah. I couldn't imagine how hard it would be to raise four kids by myself and, you know, <laughs> got y'all running around. Man, that, she tough, yeah, most you definitely. know, but to watch the lesson that y'all learned from going through that. Mm-hmm. Where some people will um, use it as an excuse, right? And all of y'all used it as motivation. And I was yes. like, "That's exactly it." Now, I wish I could take a little credit for it, but y'all did it. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? No, no, I did that. I ain't gonna you lie. Know, he, but, he most you definitely know, gave that push, though, for sure. You, you know, you, part, you, you know, y'all definitely played a part I, in. I'm it. so proud. You know, sometimes you look at people, man, you be like, "Man, I'm so proud." That they did it, especially knowing, you know, some people might not know, right. but just knowing what, what, how you grew up, you know, seeing a little bit of myself and growing up, just kind of like, man, I don't know what's going on. Single mom, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's definitely yeah, hard. Especially when you got majority boys, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, I can't really just speak on females. You know what I'm saying? The female I feel like they'll listen to their mother a little bit more, but I ain't going to lie, being we ain't a, man, to no uh, one. <laughs> a, a man, you feel me? Once you, once you get that certain age, it's like, I mean, ain't really nothing you can tell me. I'm going to do what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going to listen a little bit, respect you, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to go bucket. I'm going to go do this, do that, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's it's a learning experience. Yeah, man, it, it definitely is. I salute all single mothers. You feel me? If you out there actually take care of your kids, you feel me? No matter how hard it get, just keep pushing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I salute y'all. Yeah, man, it's definitely it's hard. It's hard to be raised raised by a woman. You 
But if you don't have a certain father figure in your life, you just gonna have to learn stuff the hard way. Yeah, most definitely. Like I learned how to shave when I was in juvie. I never shaved before. And then I got to go. What? What you mean? I had. To, I'm 14 years old. I got 17 year old. Hey man, shave like this. Okay. Hey. And, and I, I have a patch over here, one long hair over here, a weird looking mustache boy. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Look, and, and and I ain't gonna lie, and that's what I'm saying. Like, like I ain't gonna lie. My father been in my life all my life, but I can't really just I can't really just call my pops a dad though. Like I ain't gonna lie, he but, always been like a homeboy type stuff. Like he ain't I ain't gonna lie. My daddy ain't never taught me nothing about being a man. He, you I know, he's also states away. Yeah, yeah, he and, yeah he, st- he, st- he stayed out of state, but so. even like when I do come around, it's just like. I don't know. I just feel like uh, I'm his oldest boy, and he just be like, "This my this my homeboy. Fuck, you want to get high? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you want to drink a beer or something? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't like he like. Nah, you need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. Like when she used to call and be like, "Oh, uh, well, MJ did this and that and this and that." He'd get on the phone and be like, "Are right, you playing sports this year or something?" <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. he, but it, 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 that's my dog. I can't knock him. You feel me? But, it was a learning experience for him. Plus, I ain't going to lie, my pops got 16, 17 other kids. You yeah. feel me? I was just the oldest. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm really, in his eyes, I'm I'm junior. I'm his baby. Like, shit, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to let him do whatever. I'm going to let yeah. him rock out. You know what I'm saying? But, I that like, most stuff I learned is, you know what I'm saying, he, he played a big part of my life. Uh, I got older homeboys that done taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then everything, like, my be, me being myself, you know what I'm saying, I ain't. I ain't naive or, you know what I'm saying, slow in a sense. Like, a lot of people just, they don't pay attention, you know what I'm saying. I I look at, pay attention, mm-hmm. and learn from everything, you know what I'm saying. I A lot of times, I'm the quietest person in the room because I just peep everybody else's structure and learn, see what they doing, learn from their mistakes. Like, nah, I ain't finna do that. That's silly, you know what I'm saying. I like what he got going on, you know what I'm saying. This could help me do this or do that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing with my, you know, with my dad, I, I wouldn't call him a bad dad, but he lives states away. You know, when you when you only see a person a week in the summer, Christmas, Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. that's it. You know, maybe a phone call, happy birthday, but you know, I can't really call him a bad parent. Yeah, because he states away. Most he don't, Most you know. Definitely. But my dad had got remarried, and I got two younger sisters. You know, and it's like. I go up there, you know, I'm grown now, I got my own kid, and I watch how he treat them, and I'm like, dang, dad, you know, <laughs> you drive them to school, you pick, you drive them to school and pick them up from school? Like, you ain't never took me to school, <laughs> dro- you know, drove me to school at all. He said, I wouldn't. I'm going to make you walk uphill both ways. And I'm just like, hey, okay, I understand now. Yeah, You know, I, I can't. I can't blame him because if he would have, if it would have worked out, if anything would have happened any different in my life, I wouldn't be who I am now. Most definitely. You know, and that's one thing you got to look, sometimes you hold, oh, my dad wasn't in my life. Well, you know what? If he was in my life, man, I might have been soft. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so you got to take a, you know, you, you take the lesson as a blessing and, and and keep it going and try to pass it on, you know. Most definitely. Like, all my experiences that I've been through, I most definitely take them as a blessing. Like the little vacation I went on, I take that as a blessing because I look at it like, you know what I'm saying? It was a messed up situation that I was going through, you know what I'm saying? The whole little process back then, they, I feel like God did that for a reason just to keep me out the mix and out the way of everything that was really, that was just going on out here because there was a lot of stuff going on in the streets with my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? I had a homeboy that passed away, you know what I'm saying? Uh, through, you know what I'm saying, through some crazy stuff and, you know what I'm saying, ain't no telling where I I would have been and, you know what I'm saying, I could have either went through a worse situation or I might not be here right now to th- to this day, you know what I'm saying, so I look at it as a blessing, so I, I learned a lot from it. Yeah. There we go. Man, I'm still trying to learn how to do these cameras, man. Uh, so, you got any kids? No, I ain't got no kids. Yeah, I got to see, I got, all right, it's really like I, like one of my closest friends, uh, her little girl, you know what I'm saying? I basically, she, 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 basically the baby, a product of a rape, basically, you know what I'm saying? 
and I look at the little girl like my my daughter. You feel me? Like me and her so close. You know what I'm saying? I was I cut the umbilical cord when she was pregnant. I'm the only only. You know what I'm saying? We call each other brother and sister. I'm I'm the only brother that she wanted in the room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, can't nobody else be here but him. You know what I'm saying? I I cut the umbilical cord. You feel me? Like that little girl. You feel me? You, you basically think the little girl is my little girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I figured if you had one, you would have told me. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But I seen. I'm I, ready. I seen you. I seen you riding. I was like, man, he, he ain't gonna tell me I'm a grandpa. You know. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm most. But I had to ask. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen you, and I was like, okay, all right. You know, I tell you too, man. Being a <laughs> being a being a guy out here, no father figure running around, and you're like, boy, I'm about to have me a son, and then you get a daughter, and you're just like, golly, <laughs> boy, it turn it turn that hard that that you you think you hard till you have a daughter, and you're like, man, I got to change everything I do now. Oh me. I'm going to get married. Like, man, what's going on? <laughs> Dude, I, one thing for sure. I Best could, ain't ever happened to me, though. Yeah, I, I could say little girls, little girls, they they love their daddy, especially like they father does. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just dealing from females and just seeing it, bro. I ain't going to lie. It ain't, that's why I'm like, I, I, when I do have one, I, I hope I have a son first, but if I have a daughter, I ain't even tripping because I I just uh, know how I just see how little yeah. girls be like the little girl that I, that I was just t- telling y'all about. Man, she man, she love me to death. You know, so. call me faithfully. She yeah. don't want to be around nobody else but me. Yeah. No, I want to be with Uncle Mark. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So like, some people get upset. Oh man, I'm having a daughter. I was upset. Man, I had a daughter. I don't have to do no bow and no hair and. And all that, but man, I tell people, I say, man, there's nothing that your daughter can do to disappoint you. Nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing they can do. You know, they, you know, you have a boy, and it's like, man, you play sports or whatever, and it's like, man, this boy can't catch a football. <laughs> <laughs> this boy can't swing a bat. He can't even dribble right. Yeah, you know, he wanna. He wanna, uh, you know, play, play with trains and in cars and stuff. And it's yeah. like, man, boy, no, nah, we we play sports over here. Come on now. And then you have a daughter, and you're just like, it don't matter what you wanna do. You're like, we wanna cook, we wanna play in the dirt. <laughs> oh, you wanna play sports? Oh, you don't have to. You're a girl. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's weird how just that just having kids changes you. Period, man. Yeah, I already know. See, and that that's my whole thing. That's why I. I ain't even push the issue that that like have not, I ain't gonna lie if I ain't go through a little situation I probably have one right now but my whole thing is like young, like being in high school growing up you know what I'm saying I got friends having kids and stuff I'm like bro I'm not just getting anybody pregnant that's yeah my, well, I wanna that's do that. my whole thing then I don't do that either that bro. How, how I feel I ain't gonna lie whoever I have my children with like that's the person I plan on being with you know what I'm saying it don't always work out that way but I'm a you know what I'm saying man that's a, that's exactly what happened to me you know what I'm saying that's what exactly. I want you know what I'm saying that's what happened to me I man. want my I, you know what I'm saying I grew up in a single parent home I want my kids to grow up in you know what I'm saying a two parent home you know what I'm saying we you know what I'm saying mama and daddy together you know what I'm saying yeah me and uh me and Rebecca we've been married 18 years this year and we got married the the day before Maya term one, mm. and <laughs> and it, man, uh, she trapped me, bro. This is this is what happened. So, <laughs> he said she trapped. Me. So, like, I hadn't talked to my dad in probably nine, ten years, you know. And I called him. I said, "Man, your grandpa, you know, this and that." Well, I ain't really heard from him since I told him. You know, it's been almost a year. And I was like, "Man, if you ain't here for Maya's first birthday." If you ain't here for your grandchild's first birthday, don't worry about any other birthdays. We don't we don't need no card. We don't need no happy birthday present. Nothing. We don't need no money. Nothing. You know, I gave him like two weeks notice. You know, and he's like, called me. He's like, we're coming. I'm like, oh, what, what do you mean you're coming? Like, I'm I'm expecting them to say no. And uh, Rebecca's dad was coming up from Dallas. She's like, we should get married. You know, that Saturday, my birthday's like, son, we should get married Saturday. And I'm like, that's in like eight days. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, 
whatever. You know what I mean? That's exactly <laughs> what I said. I was like, whatever. I'm at work. I'm like, whatever. He really ain't want to say no. Like, and uh, man, I got home. I got home from work. My mom done rented the church, and I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like you try to set me up, and then I'm like, man, shoot, man, my 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 best friend, he had he had, had a kid, and he just got put on child support, and I was like. Man, that's like a year back, child. But yeah, let's go on and do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Best decision I ever made, though. That that was that's one of that's we still together. But yeah. boy, it was. I was like, man, are you serious? Like, I'm gonna have to do something special, man, for like the twentieth twentieth anniversary. Because I'm over here, like, you see all these people and they got their little engagement photos. I'm over here, like, she just told me. <laughs> Hey, we getting married on this day. Everybody's here. What do you mean? What? That ain't how it's supposed to go in the movies. Yeah, that ain't how it's supposed to go in the movies. I didn't even wear a tux for my wedding. Hey, that's real. <laughs> you know, I was like, I had to go to man. I had to go to Nino's at Rivergate Mall. Give me a little linen suit on the way to the church. Mm. Like I ain't, I ain't even got nothing to wear. Like we get married in a couple of hours. Oh shit! I got to go. But yeah, man, it all works out. But definitely, I was like, man, you know, it is sometimes you you got to look at your life too, where you got to break that curse, right? You know, my parents were divorced, her parents were divorced. Man, I don't know, my kids are gonna be as tough as I am. You know, we got to break that curse now. Definitely. And then you got to sit there and go, man, you gotta now you got to treat your wife a certain way. So your daughter knows how a man's supposed to treat her. on me. You know, and then, you know, I got, you know, Tristan got a stepson. Then you got to show him, this is how you treat a woman, you know, to keep a woman. Because, you know, of course, you know, his parents are divorced. You know, that's why me and his mom are together. So something, you don't want to do it. It's not something that you plan out to do. Right. But it's something you have to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and then you want to do it. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Because it's so easy to go, my parents are divorced. Her parents are divorced. I'm fine. My kid's going to be just as fine. No, we're we going to end that now. They don't need to go through that. But, yeah, shoot. I'm, make, I'm making a push for something. You're going to make a push. Huh? I, got, I, got, I got a little lady up my sleeve. Somebody going to trap you, bro. We've been, we've been, we've been, they're they're going to trap you. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Look, I ain't gonna cap. We, I mean, I ain't really tripping on no trapping because I'm not even finna. I ain't finna be having. I ain't finna be doing no, no unprotected with no gal that I wouldn't feel like. I don't. You feel me? We ain't finna have no kids. I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable having kids with you. And then another thing is how I feel now, especially going through my situation when I went through the little four years I went through. Oh man, I'm. We ain't doing. We ain't doing no no. Below average is no more. You gotta be. You got. I ain't gonna lie. This why I said. This why I be telling females all the time. I be having people rolling. You know what I'm saying on my social media stuff. Cause I'm like, man, I'm the structure. You feel yeah. me? Like you get me. You got the bag. You got the total package. You feel yeah. me? You gotta be up to par. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays, I ain't gonna lie. Nowadays, my generation and I ain't, and I'm gonna say my generation and I'm gonna really say my my. And the black folks, <laughs> say, say I ain't gonna lie to black folks. They 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 be thinking you gotta. I only have one white guy on here. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, they they you know what I'm saying? People my age and younger, they be thinking, uh, you gotta spend twenty, thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. They it's just a lot of tricking. You know what I'm saying? Word of the day, tricking. Yeah. Females, they just think, oh, you gotta, you gotta buy me the new Louis bag, Gucci bag, and Marc Jacobs, and, and Chanel bag, and do all this just to, nah, I'm not doing that. You feel me? Mm. Nah, I'm not doing that. What can you do for me? If you ain't yeah. buying yourself, it would make you think I'm finna go buy you. Just cause you see your little friends and everybody, nah, I'm not doing that. You gotta, yeah. I, how I feel, a female, got, you gotta bring something to the table. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the type of person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push and I'm gonna groom my female to the, the, the mm-hmm. if her head ain't on right. Like if I see potential in her, you feel me? I'm gonna groom it and and get her to where she need to be. You feel me? Because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, if I'm gonna be with you, it's a team thing. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be putting in no seventy five while you put in twenty five. Nah, the relationship is fifty fifty. You know what I'm saying? Sixty forty. If anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a. You know, actually, you gotta look at it this way. 
you saying 50, 50, 60, 40. The way to make it really work, you got to put 100 in. She got to put 100 in. Yeah, most definitely. You know, every, saying, every, like, we've always, half half, you know always, we've always been taught half and half. Yeah. But it ain't, it ain't half and half. It's, yeah. it's you know, you got to put 100% in. She got to put 100% in. Most or definitely. it ain't going to work. I agree, I agree with that completely, though. You know, I'm and like, we've always been brainwashed. Hey, 50 50. I'm doing my part. You know, and then as a man, you know, you sit there and go, Man, I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna do it all. I, you don't need to give me half of the mortgage. Right. I got you. See, you know, and then, hey, I took care. Of, you know, I took care of the light bill. Okay, cool. Yeah, because you know, sometimes you can't expect. You know, you can't expect uh, your wife or your girlfriend or whatever to pay half of the rent when she been sitting at home taking care of the baby. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, see, look. And, and when I say like fifty fifty, like I went, I went. I mean, I know what you yeah, say, but to uh, other I people, don't, say, other people don't. Yeah, so don't register get, get, a right. full, get a full understanding of where y'all have. See, because like you know, so honestly, how, how I am as a man, I shoot you, I shoot you a little gym right there, so you can pass on at the barbershop yeah. with your counselor. Yeah, see, look, <laughs> look, how I am as a man though. Like, I'm, I'm the type of person. Like, all right, me and my gal stay together, type of stuff. Now I'm be the, I'm be you know what I'm saying I'm the provider that's what I'm supposed to do you know what I'm saying handle the wax like that but you know what I'm saying at the end of the day I don't just when I say like you got to be putting your part like you got to be doing what you got to do to please me and make me happy you know what I'm saying and then at the same time though like I I ain't gonna lie I want my gal to be a hustler too though because God forbid you feel me you got to think about it we men anything could happen to us you feel mm-hmm. me it, it's stuff more likely to happen to a man than it is a female you know what I'm saying. Especially a black man, did you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of crazy stuff, be, yeah. you know what I'm saying, going mm-hmm. on, you feel me? And especially me from being in the streets and all type of stuff like that. So I, when I be saying that, I always looked at it like, you know what I'm saying, God forbid, if anything was ever to happen to me, I know my child to be straight. Uh-huh. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you, oh, she a boss. She going to handle the wax. You feel me? I ain't got mm-hmm. nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of females, uh, they just strictly depend on a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need, oh, I need, uh, Lil Ray Ray need mm-hmm. this, Lil Ray Ray, uh, nah, nah, you feel me? Like, come on now, you feel me? If I wasn't here, what, what is you doing for him? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they just need a little help. Yeah. I was, you know? I understand that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, <laughs> man, I seen the funniest post at my home, boy, you feel me? He was on, he was on Instagram rant, uh, ranting and stuff, and he was just like, uh, he was like, he was like, you know what's crazy? He was like, man, it be y'all black females. Y'all be the problem. Y'all done, <laughs> y'all done found this little scheme, the little government assistance and, and child support and woo woo woo. And now y'all think y'all ain't got to do nothing no more. <laughs> I was on there cracking up. But I ain't going to lie. It do be them certain females like they think like it. But uh. I, don't, I can't, I can't, I can't say all of them. It was just funny how he was saying all that. I'm like, man, that's why. That's why me personally, I ain't chose to just put myself in that situation. Just like, oh, shit, I'm finna get her pregnant, her pregnant, her pregnant, yeah. just because they got a cute face body right now. I ain't doing it. That's silly. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes it just happens, man. Yeah, most definitely. Sometimes mistakes do happen. You feel me? Mistakes most definitely do happen. Mm-hmm. I'm finna, <laughs> go, you know, what I'm saying I'm going to the A this weekend. You know, what I'm saying you. Yeah. It's Feb. It's February, and November. You, you <laughs> might have a grandchild on the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> man, oh, that's funny. <laughs> nah, cause I'm, 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 I ain't gonna lie. This is my first time doing something for Valentine's Day. I ain't gonna lie. I done turned up a little bit. Yeah, I done turned up. Man, I've been trying to avoid it. I was like, man. I got home this morning, and <laughs> Rebecca's like, here you go. Here's your Valentine's Day present. I'm over here like, I still got a couple more days, don't I? I'm looking at the time. It's like, okay, what do you want? I don't know what else to get you. I done got you everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she gets mad because, you know, do you want something? I don't need to give me nothing. I can get it myself. And she had, she had got me she had got me some shoes. I was like, man, please tell me there's something that I don't have to order that will be here in four days. But you always got to take them out to eat. Most definitely. And it's, and it's like, man, we go to, we end up going to this place called Urban Grub. I don't know if you've ever been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
like we go and my boy James it's our our waiter when we go so it's his birthday around this time you know what I'm saying so I end up you know I end up having a tip and big but then I go back around my birthday and it's like and it's his anniversary or something like that and it's like man this is crazy because I, so I got a schedule at a certain time to get there to meet him but man little traditions man you put on man once you get a little older and sometimes just spending time most man, definitely it ain't about the gift most definitely you know, some people, oh, so and so got me there. I'm like, man, so people making. We're talking about it today. My little, my little, uh, little small group that I go to. This one couple from church, man. They did like a scavenger hunt, like the first day they met, and then the girl drives, and there's like another little note, and I'm just like, man, I don't even. Hey, I got 18. Years, we ain't got enough time. <laughs> to <laughs> time to <laughs> it. You remember in 2005? When I said I loved you and kissed you on the cheek, where were we at? Shoot, you know how many places there is. <laughs> we could have been to. <laughs> I mean, she would have been hot at me. I'm like, baby, I smoke too much. I don't. I, it, it, I ain't gonna. I, I'd have lied, but said some head of height. I'm like, bro, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I only remember the important stuff. So you don't think that's important? I can hear it now. Yeah. Like, well. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I just went thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Nah, see, look. But nah, this this. I just wanted to make it special because this is actually my first time. You feel me? Then I, I ain't really just, I ain't really just, I've been, I ain't been out the state. You feel me? Since I've been home, you feel me? So, yeah. like, I didn't plan a little little what, four day vacation. We going to the A uh, from Saturday to Wednesday. Come back Wednesday morning. Um, I didn't got the uh, big boy B and B downtown Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, done got a. Couple pairs of Yeezys, Mark Jacobs bag. You feel me? Reservations of Papa Do's on Valentine's Day. Then I, uh, I got, uh, I, you know, what I'm saying, cause I, I, it's a part of the Valentine's Day gift, but it, I ain't never been to an NBA game. I got us tickets to the Hawks game. Yeah, yeah. So we're right. finna, we finna turn up. Right. She's gonna be ready to marry. Him, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Got, got, you know, what I'm saying the big getting the room set up. You know, what I'm saying I got a home girl that stay in the A. She gonna while, while I'm take while we at dinner stuff. So she gonna go in there, set everything up. You feel me? So we come up in the man. We go we go to Atlanta a couple times a year. We just go to Six Flags though. So. I'll be so wore out after riding all them rides, man. I already know how it goes. <laughs> well, I'm like, man, I don't even want to go nowhere. I don't even. Wanna, I don't even want to drive. I just want to go sleep. We used to go down there, man. Me and Rebecca first met. We'd go down there a lot. Spend, I just end up spending money. <laughs> yeah, go down there shopping. It's like, man, you know, I could have actually got all this stuff at home for a discount. <laughs> I ain't going to care. But this before cell phones. This before Google. You just We just down there driving lost. <laughs> See, I ain't even finna. I ain't even tripping on buying meat and going shopping because really, I'm going next month, next month, yeah, next month, I'm going to Houston from the 10th to the 14th. That's yeah. my first time down there. Yeah, I ain't never been to Texas. On me, and that's what met, she surprised me with this. You feel yeah. me? Like, she, she like, because she asked me, she like, you want to, this was like around my birthday. She like, you want to go to, you want to go to Houston in March? I'm like, yeah, you feel me? I didn't. I didn't pay for the ticket stuff. You feel me? She found the tickets. I didn't pay for the tickets. Some some good good price little first class tickets. You feel me? I, I want to say it was probably like five six hundred uh, round trip. Hey, you can pay. take it cheap now. Yeah, I, I didn't pay. I didn't pay. I didn't pay for the tickets and stuff. I want to say like two weeks later, she she sent my money back. I'm like I'm like, well, we ain't going to something. She like, nah, don't don't even worry about it. I didn't I didn't found the Airbnb. I didn't pay for the Airbnb. I didn't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You keep your money for the tickets. This my this my welcome home gift to you. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm like Uh-oh. I'm like I'm like fool. You know I've been home almost a year now. Yeah. Nah, this I, uh-huh. I don't care. We we wouldn't we wouldn't mess with each other like that back then. This is my welcome home gift to you. I said oh yeah. I I, I mess with you. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I can't think of no other gal that would even thought of something like it. I said oh, yeah, I like it. Well, one two, you're older now. True. You know. You're not a kid. That is true. And the, and the girls aren't kids, <laughs> you know. So eventually, you know, everybody grows up. So not all of them are like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, where especially when when you're young, you got to get out there and get it yourself. Most 
Yep. See now I'm just like I don't know. It'd be it'd be it'd be hard. I'd be feeling like it'd be hard to find them right ones. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Man, every one will always come. It's, it's, it comes it comes earlier for some. It's know. always everybody for somebody. Yeah. I mean, not everybody for somebody. Somebody for for everybody. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you follow him on uh on uh. Instagram, but uh, Vic Blends. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, you know, man, I've been tripping on him because I was somebody introduced me to him, and I started watching him. I'm like, man, I like this guy. Now, like, he's 22. 20, I'm taking advice from a 22 yeah. year old. Oh God! <laughs> now I just kind of question him a little bit sometimes. I'm like, I don't know if I should listen to him. He, he ain't got no. He still got tread on the tires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But man, what he talks about, like you, you in the right place. You exactly where you're supposed to be. Oh me, I and I'm just that. like, cause you look at it sometimes, like man, I miss my shot. Now, I'm not gonna go play in the NBA at 40, but I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Right. You know, I'm not gonna be able to go out there and play in the NFL or nothing like that. But I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm right here raising the family. This is definitely. You know, this is what else is there. Be alone, you know. Nobody want that. Sometimes you still feel alone when you got a family, but no, you're not alone. Nah. But yeah, man. What else you got going on today? I leave here. I'm grinding. Yeah. I'm grinding. I'm be in the shop. I want to say where where the where the shop at, and uh, how can they book you? Uh, if somebody want to come holler at you. Uh, the shot, the shot. I need thirty percent for no. <laughs> hey. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> uh, the shot. The I'm shot. his manager. Y'all contact me. I got yeah, you. It's a haunted. No. <laughs> uh, but now nah, the shot, the shop. Uh, Top Shop Barbershop. Um, Bell Road. Um, dress fifty three twenty six Mount View Road. Any any Tennessee. Um, if you want to book with me, uh, y'all can download the Booksy app. Uh, Gotti the Barber. You can find me. You find me on there. Oh, I'll tell you, man, we got cameras beeping and everything. Battery dead. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Be, uh, I'll be trying. Somebody thought this was a good idea to do a podcast and all this, and I'm like, man, I don't spend too much money now. We're going to figure it I, out. Yeah, I ain't going to We're going to figure it out. It's dope. We got the whole setup and everything down yeah. here on God. Yeah, man. So, man, I guess we can end it here. I won't have that much editing to do, thank God. Man, we was over here a couple weeks ago. Man, me and my my partners was talking. Man, all the cameras died. (laughs) All the cameras died. And I'm sitting there trying to edit this video. And I'm like, this thing is too long. I don't even want want to deal with it right now. (laughs) But, yeah, man, so... Thanks for coming, bro. Nah, you know, man, you know I love you, man. Nah, I love uh, you too. Yes, we out. Bow.